Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today we are half restarting, half continuing the Dream Laugher series. Let's pretend that that other crew was rescued and all the debris was cleaned up and we reset the clocks after that uh, horrible landing. But we know the design will work, so we created another shuttle and we've christened it the Columbia with a K because, you know, K is cool and everything is K in Kerbal Land. But, um, no, seriously, I don't want to continue that trend. I just chose this because I had nothing better. Um, leave, it, leave a comment if you have an idea for a name. Because, basically, I'm going to start naming all of these shuttles. So, I need names to give them. And each one will have its own little logo that will be put up there on the front like that. So, you'll get to see whatever the name you give it up there at the front. And it'll look all pretty and shiny and fancy and everything. And that will be awesome. So anyhow, let's launch. That's, uh, I love the sound. Look at this. Isn't this a great camera view for the launch, too? I love how you can see the wings kind of uh, moving around in relation to the hull of the shuttle a little bit, as well as the boosters kind of jiggling around. Like, it very much looks unstable. Like, it is. It is unstable. And the funny thing is, the, the real shuttle is actually... I saw a video, I think, a while back where it was, like, from one of the solid rocket boosters of the space shuttle. And, yeah, it looked a bit like this, you know, all unstable and wobbly and stuff, a little bit. Anyhow, I'm gonna throttle down quite a bit, actually. Um, this thing has a lot of kick. Uh, we need a lot more of that kick to deliver a uh, nuclear engine into space than we do this. Because if you'll remember from uh, that little coming soon video I did uh, promoting this or trying to promote this, uh, we had a we had a, a nuclear engine delivered into space and then immediately picked back up and taken back down and crashed into the desert. Uh, yeah, I need to work on my landings because I, yeah, I need to work on my landings. Let's just leave it at that. Anyhow, as you can see, we have to throttle down quite a bit, because this thing's got a lot of kick behind it. And we're going to start a gravity turn now. Oh, I love this camera view. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to switch out of it and go to map view to help me uh, figure out how to orient ourselves in order to orient ourselves to get into orbit. So, uh, Bill, Jeb, and Bob... They're flying the Columbia. They were recovered from the wreck of that other unnamed uh, first shuttle. I guess we could call it Challenger, or Calendar. Cal Colin, ca like with the K, I was trying to think, like I was trying to be stupid like that. Even though I said I wouldn't, I did. Uh, yeah, that was smart. Anyhow, this is going to be a new series. Um, I've kind of unintentionally uninstalled some mods. I don't actually remember which ones I've uninstalled and which ones I've kept. I do have a list here. I am trying to keep track of it, but I'm not... Yeah. Anyhow, uh, right now, uh, the mods that are pertinent to this mission, there's the uh, lazy animated cargo bay doors. I think that's what I called it. Anyhow, this may or may not actually be a mod because basically it's a lazy fix I did for an old old cargo bay mod from 0 0.16 which I I fixed and then I uploaded it to Kerbal Spaceport as a mod and I don't know if it's going to be approved it hasn't been approved yet uh, if it has been approved since the time of recording this then uh, go look in the, the, the description yeah and there'll be a link to it if, if it has been approved if not then I will link to where I got them from and you'd have to apply the fix yourself, which I'll tell you how to do. Anyhow, you saw me take a quick glance at our, um, what do you call it? A moment ago, I was, I took a quick glance at the, what do you call it? The cockpit resources. Oh, wow, it's so quiet all of a sudden. No engines. Silence. I should add in some music. No, I'm not going to. Sorry, I'm lazy. I don't feel like adding in music. And, uh, oh yes, I'm gonna take a screenshot here. Ah, uh, yes, because that is... Doesn't that just look beautiful right there? That is so cool. Almost in space. Just uh, got to do a little bit more of a burn to get into orbit. Um, that's what I love about this design so much, too, is that you can almost get into orbit with the... Uh, these outer boosters. In fact, if you have a if you have a zero payload and fly it perfectly, I believe you can get into orbit with the tanks still attached. Um, although you don't really want to do that. You just kind of want to have the shuttle get up there. Anyhow, that's the first mod, and I went off on a random tangent because I'm like that. 
The second mod that we're using is the Ion Cross Life Support, which basically makes it so Kerbals consume oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. If the carbon dioxide gets too high, they die. If the oxygen goes to zero, they die. And there's a couple, there's, there's basically, um, for one thing, the cockpit has been modified so that it, uh, what do you call it, it, it requires electricity to run and it produces the carbon dioxide and consumes the oxygen and etc. And it has a small carbon dioxide and small oxygen tank on board. Uh, we have, now here's the interesting thing, there's other parts in that mod, like a, an air scoop. Oh, we just just lost our outer boosters, so I'm going to turn up the throttle a little bit. There they go! And we're going to throttle up and continue on to orbit. Um, yeah, they're, they're supposed to collide into each other like that. Don't, don't worry about that, that's normal. We're also going to open, the, we're going to go ahead and open this uh, cargo bay door and extend the communi communicator thingy on the back, turn on the lights here. So you can see that our payload, if you looked closely enough just then, uh, you might have noticed what it is. Anyhow, let me, let me fix this orbit real fast. Um, ah, space debris. Actually, that stuff should be on a suborbital trajectory, just barely. I'm gonna fast forward to Apoapsis and finish getting ourselves into orbit. Anyhow, so the other things in this mod, there's an intake which allows you to intake oxygen from like Kerbin or Lathe and carbon dioxide from any other planet with an atmosphere. And there's a CO2 scrubber which is built into each cockpit which just takes out the CO2 and uses electricity, but you can make this thing called a recycler or something like that. I have one of these two things that appears to be a yellow RCS tank. One of them is just an oxygen tank. The other one is uh, this thing that allows you to put oxygen into it. I mean, to put carbon dioxide into it and get oxygen out of it using electricity. So basically that module that we're carrying up with us right now is the first component of our space station we're making. Uh, this first component is life support module, basically. You know, it has, it has the module to turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. Of course, you don't, it's not perfect. You do lose some in the process, so the station will have to be uh, updated. You know, like we'll have to bring up extra crews. Um, and do stuff. Yeah, I kind of accidentally uh, boosted my orbit higher than I originally intended, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and actually boost my orbit that high, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, you might have noticed by the fact that I've been able to mostly keep on topic with what I'm talking about that I recorded the game before recording the voiceover, which I don't do often, uh, I don't know, it seems like it gets kind of boring, then again, sometimes it may be more interesting, I don't know, I'll have to figure out what's the best way to go about it. Sometimes it works better one way, sometimes it works better another way. Anyhow, we got this module, it's got a little probe core, which I'm going to power up right now, so we're going to wait for that to power up slowly. It's got a small docking port on the back, because that's how cargo is delivered on this thing and a bigger docking port on the front because right now what we're going to do with it is we're not just going to leave it in orbit we're going to leave the Columbia up here in orbit with this module docked to the front of it so the module has some RCS so it can move around and it has the two tanks of oxygen two big batteries so even if we're on the dark side we can uh, keep things running I just bumped the shuttle and uh, knocked myself sideways so there is a bit of a fault with the programming on this module, as you can see. It's it, it's flying a bit drunkenly. Um, yeah, that's totally the fault of the module. Um, you can see Bill isn't really paying attention. Uh, he's supposed to be controlling the doors, the cargo bay doors, and the light. And he's supposed to turn those off to conserve power. Uh, but as you can see, he's kind of just not doing that at all. And uh, Bob's actually, I, I lied, there's there's not actually a ro robot control system on this thing. Bob down there in the is, is controlling it, and he actually realized he needed to uh, take out the solar panels. Meanwhile, Jeb is ta turning off the shield, or opening the shield on the front, so that uh, Bob can actually dock this like he's supposed to. Did I get the names mixed up just then? I might have. Uh, let's, let's pretend I didn't. Um, 
Anyhow, so I'm bad at docking. Have I ever mentioned that? I'm kind of bad at docking. I'm not as bad as some people, but I'm kind of bad at docking. So yeah, this is this is not going to go well. So I'm going to fast forward a bit to skip over that. And while past me is docking this thing, um, I just want to say I'm sorry if uh, I'm particularly boring over the next uh, few weeks or month, maybe. I don't know. Depends how long till they make the uh, point nineteen release. But basically, every time it comes time for the devs to start releasing teasers about the next version, I kind of uh, start to lose care about the game. Like, I just, I want it to be updated already, I want to use the new awesome features already, so I kind of struggle with keeping it interesting and having fun with it, and even just playing it, because I'm like, I'm sitting there going, ooh, I'm gonna make a thing that'll go mine on the moon, and, and, no, I can't. And that's exactly what I'm going through right this moment. And it really sucks. And here we are. Past me has docked. Yay! And wow, doesn't that look pretty? There's just something about having just a random shuttle in space with a random, like, solar panel thing stuck off the front of it that's, like, off-centered, off-balanced, like... Of course, I designed it that way, if you notice. That's kind of what gave me trouble with docking it, at least to some degree was the fact that I angled those solar panels and the radial... Yeah, more screenshots. Uh, I angled the solar panels and the uh, the uh, tanks of RCS. Uh, I angled them like, like that because if I didn't, they would glitch ever so slightly into the model for the bottom of the cargo bay. And even though it would be the tiniest bit and it probably wouldn't have exploded when I got into space, I was kind of afraid it would, so I decided I'd rather, you know, just not take the risk. Also, uh, you can see me playing around with the uh, window right now. I was I was trying to find the right spot for a screenshot. Now you can see I'm uh, looking at the uh, CO2 and O2 of my ship right now. So you can see there's the uh, converter thing, and I'm going to take and transfer some carbon dioxide out of the cockpit into there, and I'm going to transfer some oxygen from out of there into the cockpit. Of course, we've only been in space for a little while now, so it's not that much, so not really an issue. I was considering fast-forwarding and seeing how long this could last, but it's supposed to actually last while I go up there, and even though it won't simulate while I'm not focused on the ship, which kind of sucks, but oh well, um, you know, I just won't worry about it. And, uh, you know, we just have the knowledge that that will last us a while. And even though technically it will last us longer than it should, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna try and make it realistic, hopefully. Anyhow, there we go, I took another screenshot. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.